Welcome back to the Game Boy channel. This is the channel where we play every mobile soccer game with a controller. And today I'm bringing you an exciting tutorial, a brand new tutorial on how to play another mobile soccer game. You know how we do it. First of all, I have to show you how to pair up your controller with your device to be able to use it to play any mobile soccer game. Any controller you have is fine. I have made that clear in my previous video. Now I have with me a PS3 controller and a PS4 controller. I'm going to be using both of them for analysis in this video tutorial. Now let's start with the PS3. If you are going to be using a PS3 controller, let's assume the PS3 controller is what you have and that's what you want to use to play the mobile soccer games in your Android device or your iPhone device. I don't know if you can connect PS3 to iPhone. So let me focus on Android, let me focus on what I know. Now you're going to need, you are not going to be able to use PS3 with your Android wirelessly, meaning you cannot pair the Bluetooth with your Android without being rooted. Your device must be rooted and we all know modern devices are very difficult to root. So we are not going to go the root method, let's bypass the routing method. We are going for the non-root method and with the non-root method you're going to need an OTG cable, an OTG cable or an OTG plug. Anyone you have OTG plug or OTG cable, they work the same way. One is just a cable attached, one just have a cable attached to it and one just have a plug. Now you're gonna need the PS3 charging cable, the normal USB PS3 charging cable. So what you do, you plug this part to your PS3 controller. Let me do that real quick. Then once it's plugged to your PS3 controller, what you do, you plug this to your OTG cable, this part. This is the part that goes into do the computer if you are trying to plug it to the computer. So note this part, plug it to your OTG cable. Once plug your OTG cable, now plug the OTG USB mount to your Android charging port and you are connected. Simple as that, no extra settings needed. Once you do the what I showed you now, plug your charging cable to your PS3 controller now plug the other part of it to your OTG cable or your OTG plug. Let me plug it to the OTG plug. Or you plug it to the OTG plug. Then you plug the OTG plug to your USB charging port, your phone USB charging port. If you have a Type-C charging port, then get a Type-C OTG. This is a Type-C OTG plug. Right, this is a regular USB 2.0 OTG. So anyone you have. Any device charging port you have, get the appropriate uh, OTG cable and you are good to go. So that takes care of that. Now, if you have the, the normal PC USB game pad, just plug it to your OTG cable like I told you and plug the OTG cable to your charging port and you are connected, no extra settings. Your Osbos controller, get the Osbos cable, plug it to the Osbos, plug the other end to your OTG cable, plug to your device and you are good to go. Now, let's go wireless. If you have a Bluetooth wireless device for gaming on Android, it's perfect. Just pair your Bluetooth pad with your device and you are good to go. No extra settings. But for a PS4, if you are going to connect your PS4 controller to your Android for the first time, yes, you can connect PS4 to your Android wirelessly without being rooted. So that's why I set up for a PS4 and it's cheaper than the most uh, Bluetooth game pass. So I think it's a, it's a good deal if you ask me. And it's rugged, it's more rugged than most of these controllers. So I went for the ruggedity, so. And the wireless, and the battery lasts long, so. Now, what you do if you want to pair your PS4 controller to your Android device, first of all, power on your Bluetooth on your device and put it in session mode. You can see my, my Bluetooth is scanning for devices. Now you power on your controller it will be blinking mine is connected it connected one touch because i have already paired it with this device before but if you're going to pair it with your device for the first time there is a key here at the top here share is written on it is the share the share key share is written on it note share is written on it so what you do after putting your bluetooth on your device in pairing mode and pressing the ps key to on the controller you hold down the share key 
for five to ten seconds just press and hold it down while your phone is searching for your phone will pick it up when you connect you answer yes to all the connection prompt and you are paired so i'm assuming you have paired your controller and you are with me at this point so the second thing you need which is the final thing it's an app called Octopus. It's a premium app. You are supposed to pay for it on Play Store because the, pre the free version will not be able to do most of the things we want to do in future. We're going to go into some advanced stuff. So I'm giving you the pro version for free. It is free for as long as I want it to be on the link. Even when I remove it from the description, when I remove the link from the description, yours will not stop working. It's going to be free forever. So if you can download it within this period, I'm going to leave the link in the description is yours to keep for life now i'm going to give you the link to the autopus free of charge in the description so download it and install it in this format now we have 32 bit and 64 bit os if your phone is a 32 bit os the zip file for 32 bit is written 32 bit in bracket download that one and install it the installation pattern is first of all you install you install this one first this one install this one first before you now install this one before you now install the plugin so first of all install the one at the right with the autopod 6.13 apk before you now install the plugin last so that's the other issue you install them same goes same goes for the 64 bit you want for the 64 bit now if you are confused you don't know if your phone is 64 bit or 32 bit there's an app on play store the app is called the app is called full system info so download full system info from play store and after you download it run it when you run it under the first column which is cpu scroll down you're gonna see ARC 64. ARC 64 means it's a 64 bit OS. It has the meaning of ARC 64. If it's 32 bit OS, you will not you are not going to see 32 bit there. So definitely if you are 64 bit, this is what you're gonna see. So for sure you will know it's 32 bit. So I guess if it doesn't show this ARC 64, know that you are a 32 bit OS. So just open the app in the first column under CPU, scroll down to processor. And you will see if you are 64 or 32. So that takes care of that. So install it the way I described it now, and you are good to go. Now I'm assuming you have installed Autopause that are uploaded and you are with me at this point. So we'll run the Autopause straight up. Don't forget our device, our Bluetooth is paired, but we're still going to confirm if our Bluetooth is paired or not. Any kind of Bluetooth you are using, when you open Autopause, if it is actually paired with your device, it's properly connected, it's going to show on this blue panel here this blue panel here this this blue panel is going to show so if you can see octopus you can see wireless controller connected if you click on this place this little icon here if you click on this little icon here if you click on this little icon here you will see wireless controller connected so any kind of controller you are using is the name is going to be displayed here for you to see so if it is bluetooth this is this a usb uh, controller is going to show there and you are going to see that little green uh, dot showing that it is live is connected and it's active so now we've confirmed that our controller is connected now to import your game in this game so what you do i'm going to show you if you want to import into octopus click on this plus this plus sign here this thing i'm here just click on it now locate the game so but for example if you want to import like tiktok now let's assume the ace mobile is the tiktok just click on add add is here add and it will appear here so from here you can run it so let's remove the tiktok
it's still the Game Boy channel where you play PES Mobile 2021, FIFA, Dream Leap Soccer, Pro, uh, Pro League Soccer, uh, VVAT Football, any mobile soccer game at all. This is still the channel where we conform all of them to controller, where we force all of them to play with controller. So you've paired up your controller as you can see so let's see the controller you can see it's connected you can see the green that little green dot there showing that the controller is connected and active you have already watched the tutorial on how to connect any controller so we're not going to go into that and we have already added our pro league soccer to octopus so now it's time to run it now launch it and let's get the party started don't worry everything that i showed on my screen will not show your screen because i have used it before let me click on tutorial which is an empty profile now this is what the game is gonna look like where you run it. I don't know if your own is going to look like this. I have been running it here before. So you run your own for the first time. I'm different. But you have leagues and national team cups. They have friendly match, which is quick match. I want to tell you this game might look small and like a kid's game, but I have to be honest with you. This is one of the Android games, as Android soccer games with the best camera angle. That is one. Then two, the best controls of any mobile soccer game. I found it in this game. So it's a very interesting and addictive game. Don't joke with this game. You're going to love it. You're going to fall in love with it and you're going to be addicted with it. So do not underrate this game. That always looks like cartoon. The controls and the camera and go man you will love playing this soccer especially with controller so what do we do what do we do on this channel we convert every game to a ps4 or a ps5 or a ps3 game what do we mean by that i want to ask you a question where you are playing soccer on fifa 21 or fifa 20 or fifa 19 on ps on ps4 ps3 or ps2 or ps5 what do you use for shoot i'm guessing you use this that's what i use for shoot what do you use for pass we're going to force this game to obey ps4 commands how you play a ps4 game 100 percent is what we want to force this game to do we want this game to play our game like as if we are playing it on a ps4 you understand so all the controls that the game offers we're going to customize them to obey the commands that we normally will normally use if we are playing on ps4 or on ps5 console so let's get right into it so i'm not really going to be doing more doing much showing you this showing you that just do what i do and you will like you will love the game let's just select some random teams so that, so that the controls can be displayed on our screen so that we can go right ahead and configure so so look at this control normal pass sprinter mode skill action that's a skill move then a lock pass or shoot they are giving you directions this is they say do this to get this result do this yes i note whatever they are showing and i'm going to inculcate them to work with the basic commands as if you are playing ps4 so all our the lofted pass if the, the true balls the long true balls the crossing the sliding the switching of player the sprinting with arrow one everything we are going to convert the controls this game is offering now and convert them to ps4 or ps5 or ps3 controls so it will look like you are actually playing your FIFA on your normal console. So what controls are you going to use? That's what we want to do now. So 
Yes, everything they've showed there will go on. So first of all, enter settings, go to controls. Now look at it. Shoot, true ball, pass. Then this is a uh, sprint. Then your direction by your left. So make sure your joystick mode is on fixed. If it's on free, change it to fixed. Leave it on fixed. Now pass offensive. And this is for defense. Slide, select, tackle. Select is to cause second defender to switch course up. Then, so attack on our defense is there. Then, um, curve shot, leave it at always so that you will see some impressive outside colors. You will love them, guys. When I'm done with this, you're going to love outside colors. So, this is the controls. Now, your graphics set it to whatever you like. This is my own, so you can follow mine, you can screenshot. And follow mine exactly this is what works well for my phone's ability so that's that then gameplay i put it on six minutes because that's what actually is closer to the real time if you are playing on console so you can you can set it whatever whichever way you like here as far as you've done what i told you to do on that controls with fixing this then you are good to go now let's go you can set formation you can change uniform game is a very exciting game guys so now let's start conf configuration now do what i do like i said do what i do i'm not going to be talking much so let's bring up bring up our previous profile that i have configured Let's see what is going to go into here. What we go into what? First, we have X and arrow B plus B. X, the arrow B plus B. Let's go to the profile you have. and you we are configuring together. So, just do what I do. Click on the little plus sign. Then click on um, swipe. Then slide to the right. Then your arrow one. Hold it down. Then your B, which is this this key. Yes. Touch it. It will give you arrow and B. Now click here. Click on this this thing that looks like settings icon in front of it. Then take this all the way down to 10 seconds, which is the smallest. Now move it into position. Key. Okay, that's that's that. Let's see. You don't you don't need to be coming here. I'm just coming here because ah, what we did was for ox not arrow. Sorry. A correction needs to be made so watch the video to the end before whatever is here is supposed to be for ox sorry that's not us ox so that thing we did don't know it's not for arrow plus b it's for ox which is your shoot your shoot is your ox so click on this little plus icon again click on key then press arrow one and b this is your b key and you will get it so let's move it into position what next you don't need to switch i'm switching because i'm doing tutorial l b and y are going to be on this yellow circle so let's go back to our profile we're configuring this true ball this true ball we're going to put lb and y so click on that little plus icon click on the first one which is key and type the key you use for y me at this this angle key here this is my y 
So I'm clicking on it. I'm moving it. LB is to switch player or course record defender or switch course or so. Click on that little plus icon again. Click on the first one, key is written on it, key. Okay. And press your LB, which is L1. That's what I use to switch. So move it into position. So we are done with that. What next? What is here? E, 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 then B. B with an upward slant. So A, B. Okay. So let's go back to the profile you are now configured it together. On top of tackle, that's where we're going to put the red, the next things now. Just do what I do, please. So click on that little plus icon. Click on order. Order is written on it. Order with a crown. Order. Touch order. Three things will appear on your screen. Now press E. Key A is us, which is for your person. Us. So move it into position. That is what will serve for our pass and other purposes that you will soon discover when you start playing the game. Let's resume the car so it can give us position to play. Okay. What next? What next? What next? What next? Tutorial, tutorial. Okay, no. Okay, B sliding upward. So let's go back to the profile we are configuring. Tutorial. And like I said, you don't need to do this. You just follow the tutorial when I don't switch. What I do after I switch, just do that. Click on that little plus icon again. Click on swipe. And swipe up. And put key B there. B, A, A, B. So, put your B, this is B. Now click on the settings, take it all the way down to 10 seconds, then move it to position. Now the last one. What do we have here? Arrow B plus E. Arrow B plus E. Arrow B plus E. Arrow B. Arrow B. Arrow B. Then arrow T. Arrow B, Arrow B, uh, Arrow B plus A, mm -hmm. Arrow T. Okay. Let's go to the profile you and I will configure it together. Click on that little plus icon. Click on order. The arrow B is your arrow one. Remember, arrow one. So we'll move it to the position. Arrow B. Arrow B. Arrow B. Click on that little plus icon again. Click on order. Now arrow B plus A. Arrow B plus A. Which is click hold down your arrow one, which is for running. Then plus A, which is this large downward key, this A, this key A. So arrow B plus A. We've gotten it. Now move it into position. Please watch the video over and over again till you do it accurately. The way I'm doing mine is complicated, but when you watch, just do it word for word. Last thing I want to put there now is choose a swipe function. How to get here, click on this little plus icon. Select so swipe, it's written on the screen. Swipe and uh, swipe up. No, that's not that's not a perfect up swipe. Select so swipe again. Mm, yeah, that, that will work. Mm, no, it's not perfect enough to a little plus icon. Select so swipe. Yes. Maybe I should change the angle of my hand. So that is so let's swipe. All right, and up swipe. So we want to put our skin move here. So it's going to be your analog stick, which is direction analog plus your arrow to the downward uh, arrow. Don't be
It's not working probably because we've not put our direction. So let's put our direction. That little plus key. If you use D pad for your direction, this is D pad. Then select D pad and move it into a position to fit into the direction. Of this there, but we don't use D pad. We use analog. So click on left analog and move it into a position. Now. Click on that little plus icon again, select swipe, swipe up, then what? Let me even peep what I what let, let me see what 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 I'm missing. It's just ROT just ROT so I'm, I was missing it up so don't you don't need to do all this like I told you if you do if you if you are doing this it's complicated just stick to what I'm telling you now just do what I do so you are not going to be switching like this because you are actually configuring me I'm doing tutorial so the key that is going to do there is ROB which is the uh, bottom arrow so that's it congratulations you have finished configuring now that you have configured everything you don't want your opponent to know that you are using octopus look at the way the whole screen is it's not nice like this all the controls to show again so i see what i'm talking about you don't want your screen to look like this when you make a video tutorial so what you're going to do is click on this auto post icon that's where you normally enter to position and moving around click on it click on this move this into proper position it's not even properly placed move all this into proper position okay I click on this icon that looks like setting here click on it button opacity take it all the way down to zero and that's it congratulations nobody will know you are using controller now let's try and play this game and see if everything we did worked okay everything is working so far so this way i'm going to end the tutorial because the one videoing me my the device videoing me has run out of memory so i'm going to stop here You've seen the configuration, so follow it exactly the way I did it, and you will get the accurate result. Thank you so much. Now, subscribe to my channel and watch out for videos. I'm coming with a gameplay video after the configuration, so stay tuned. Bye.